everybody. Welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, today we're doing Patience by Guns N' Roses, a request from a subscriber. Go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't already. I just want to take a quick moment before we get started with this lesson. You know, I teach privately at a community college here in Colorado, where I live. And just wanted to extend that to all of you. If anyone wants to take online lessons with me privately, I am offering that. In the description below, uh, I have an email address. Just say hello and I'll send you the details. Just wanted to extend that offer to you in case anyone's interested. Um, I have affordable rates. So, um, with that being said, this is a, uh, a great song by Guns N' Roses that has a lot of open chords, but uh, it's actually a little bit difficult to pull it off accurately because there's all these sus2 and uh, sus4 voicings. So, with that, let's zoom in on the hands and get going. All right, so this is a nice acoustic song from Guns N' Roses, and they've tuned everything down to E-flat standard. But I went ahead and just kept it at E so that you could save some time. You don't have to tune down. Um, if you want to play along with the recording, you will have to, to tune everything down one fret or one half step. And there's two acoustic guitars going on, but they're kind of doing pretty much the same thing mostly, definitely playing the same chords, of course. So we can kind of get away with a combination of the two of them without it being too advanced. So we have this intro and we're going to do C chord. And they're going to be doing all sorts of uh, sus chords here and different types of chords. So you have a C and then um, the melody is kind of on the first two strings here, meaning we're going to be playing some melodies here as we strum. So, so we go down, down, up, and then first string open, and then uh, third fret, second string, and then first fret, and then open first fret. So the third to first fret on the second string is a pull off. going to be a pattern for these other chords. So let's, let's do the G now. So the next chord is G. And you go strum, 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 second string. And then first fret, pull off to second fret, th second fret, third string, open. chord. Same thing. Down, down, up, second string. Third fret to pull off to second. Open, second. And then D. And we go hammer to second fret. Down, down, up, hammer. Third, second, open, second. All right, let's do that again. Third one, oh one, oh one, oh two, oh two, three two, oh two, two, three two, oh two. Okay, that repeats. If you're interested in learning the uh, slash intro here, slash plays an intro. Here it is, we'll get through it kind of quickly because some of you may just want to keep playing the rhythm guitar, which is fine. So, 7th fret, 3rd string, 8th fret, 2nd string. And that's going to be 10th to 12th, 2nd string, slide up, 10th fret, 1st string, 12 to 10 slide, pull off to, to 8, and then another pull off 10 to 8. So. Now we do this cool little, uh, almost country lick here. It's going to be 10 to 12 bend, which is not easy on acoustic. And then 9, 10, uh, sorry, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 10 to 12 bend again. And then, and then 8. So a little slower. Okay, 
and then ten, eight, pull off, ten, and then seventh fret, third and first string, slide it up, seven, eight, nine, and then these are called sixths here, sixth intervals, and then eleven, third string, ten, first string, and you go, you know, third string, first string, so, sorry, uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, and then you hit them again, but you slide. So, let's do the whole thing. There you go. Now you can do that or you can just keep playing the same uh, the same thing I just taught you about the rhythm guitar because that is happening underneath that. Then it goes into the chorus instrumentally before the, uh, the lyrics come in. So that's C now. It switches from, you know, kind of like playing individual strings into actual strumming. So we'll go C, C, D, D, G. So that string pattern is like down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Pretty much, right? So C, G, C, E minor. Ready? And now C, G, D. And then it sustains before the lyrics come in. And I did a little hammer on the second fret first string. Okay. So that's the intro. And if, you know, that's a lot of stuff. But the, the good thing is that if, if we've done that, now the song is going to be a lot easier. Um, so then Axl Rose starts singing. And it goes back into the, the verse, which is more of a... Now, because Axl Rose isn't playing guitar, there you know, the, the guitarists are just keeping on with this more difficult playing meaning all the melodies but if you're singing the song it's probably going to be difficult to do all that um, so you can just strum you know you can just just forget about the the, the the third fret first fret but this is what's happening same thing as the intro there's one thing different from the intro So now we have a G over B instead of going just straight to G like we did in the intro. We go G over B, second fret, fifth string. Play those four strings. And then open G. And the rhythm is one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two. But when we hit this G, <laughs> the other guitarist is going one O, oh, second string, pull off. So that's G over B, open G, and then A, just like the intro. So that continues until the, the chorus. The only difference being from the intro is that you have that G over B. So let's just finish this out like it's the last verse. Now we get to the chorus, same as the intro. Right? All the same. And uh, when he ends the chorus, there's four bars of D, so... Da, 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 da. bar I'm sorry it's eight bars so so there's one bar just as the intro that three two oh two repeat and then you go up to this D triad here 10 10 11 first three strings two bars and then 14 15 14 for two bars 
and then it goes into the second verse and second chorus. Right? So that's exactly the same. And uh, at the second chorus, the same thing, you end with the D with eight bars. And it kind of has a as a writ or a retard, which means to slow down. And then you kind of leave him there. And then it goes into this outro, which is sort of a whole different section. And so we'll start that now. It's D and G, just two chords, but there is a D over F sharp. So. Just a little. Okay, so that's D chord, now 6th string, open 2nd fret, D over F sharp, O2, and then G. It's a little patient, O2, G. And it just keeps repeating, which is called a vamp in music. So meaning we're just keeping going and we sort of keep going on that until the end of the song. It's on a D chord. All right, so a lot to work on, and if anything's unclear, you can always leave a comment. And otherwise, happy practicing. Enjoy. All right, everybody, great job. So thanks for tuning into this lesson. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and uh, looking forward to the next lesson. Take care. Bye.